all of us, and I, I, can cert I can certainly speak for most of us, but myself absolutely, are in this for the long haul, and we need to get some ducks in a row to come back, to come back as strongly as we can. And when we do, we're going to be raising an army. Mud clubs for closers. Last segment, this is one where we often kind of uh, wrap this up in, an, in, in, a, in a ribbon for you. I know it's become Crowder Closes, and I appreciate how, how much uh, you guys have let me, you've allowed me to take the opportunity to be earnest and, and, and talk with you guys in a way that hopefully helps a, a lot of people. And, and, and I mean, we feel responsibility in doing that. So I need to kind of start this off before I uh, make a formal announcement and letting you know that I am uh, a huge hypocrite. Uh, which may not necessarily make sense when you just out of context, but let me kind of explain uh, how that is the case because we've recently done some life advice segments, and uh, I've had to dispense sometimes some some life advice that uh, that I know I should be practicing that I haven't been. Um, this is going to be right now my last show through New Year. Hold on, hold okay? on. Okay, I'm not retiring. <laughs> this is going to be my last show through New Year, uh, and, and it's specifically due. Um, to uh, some health reasons. Then don't, don't worry. I don't have I don't have cancer or, or AIDS. I can I can <laughs> see the rumor mill starting right now. Um, we'll be back though the second week of, of January. So please bookmark and and and, and come back. Um, but uh, health issues, medical issues that require more attention than I can fit into every other Friday between eleven and two p.m. <laughs> which is literally I have to pick every other Friday because a lot of people don't realize you know we don't have forty staff members of the Young Turks. Yeah. Um, so if we're gone doing a change my mind or if we're gone doing a show on campus, we have to travel back. That's the whole team. Yeah, it's everybody all the time. It's everybody all the that's, time. That's you. That's Abby. That's Madison. That's everybody. Right. And partic particularly myself. Sometimes some people get yeah, to stay it, home. I have to be there always. It's always you. It's so you all the time. I'm not complaining, about this, but time-wise, um, I literally have to. So what we've tried to do is actually, this is to give you ideas to the inner workings here, we do what we call super video. We tape it often on the weekends, or we tape one week, and then the next week, it's like, okay, we still have to work a, a, an insane amount, um, but I find a window to, okay, I pick the dentist this week, or go into a doctor, or whatever it is, a rheumatologist. Um, and yeah, listen, a lot of people probably, you know, I've talked uh, on air quite a bit about having kind of thyroid issues and, and, and being, uh, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia uh, a year and a half ago. I didn't really take it super seriously, um, but I, uh, nothing, I'm not going away. Uh, it, but yeah, auto, autoimmune related to the point of, um, I had a doctor recently kind of sit me down and say, listen, you're not going to, you're not going to make it very long, not because of the cancer, anyway, said because of the, the, the stress uh, and how it's affecting kind of this, uh, I, I hate to use these serious words because I don't want to be overly dramatic. We're coming back the second week of January. This yeah. is just something that needs, for several other reasons, there are going to be a lot of big developments happening. But a doctor actually looked me in the eye and said, listen, the disease state, unless you correct it, progresses. Said some progress fast. I've seen people get cancer and they go in three months and someone have it for several years and they've been fine. So but unless corrected, what you have is progressively getting worse. Uh, you are progressively doing damage to your body. And unless you correct it, it's going to get worse. And sometimes it goes around the bend where then it becomes something permanent that you now you're trying to correct it retroactively uh, in post, as we would say in this yeah, program, yeah. as opposed to fixing it live. Uh, we'll do it live. So make, make, make no mistake, this is one thing I, I know a lot of people have talked about. I've seen a lot of people talk about YouTube burnout. This is not YouTube. It's like, oh, how, oh my God, you mean you have to talk to a camera while people give you 65,000 a month on, on Patreon? Oh, what a freaking nightmare, right? Like, I, this, that's not what this is. This is not an I'm burnt out and I, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, though I am ex exhausted, it's not. It's it, that there is nothing else I could dream of doing outside of this. There's nothing else that I want to do. And right now, I am less and less capable uh, of of performing, of being able to do what it is that not only is important to me, what it, the only thing that I can do, but what it is that's so important to to many other people who who watch this. We just hit three million subscribers, and I cannot thank you enough. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who joined Mug Club. Please, please don't don't stop uh, Mug Club or, or, or cancel your memberships because we're gone for a little bit. We're going to come no, back. We we're come always back. trying to think of ways to add value. And honestly, we have a million ideas that we've not been able to implement because of all the yeah. things that we have to do simultaneously. And I'll get into a second, but we just hit three million subscribers, and it's because of you, and it's because we're we're gunning for more growth. We're gunning to reach more people that I do need um, to get healthy. And, and, and it's, this isn't just myself. Everyone here has a, 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 a very significant workload, not only just Quarter Black and, and, uh, and Engineer Abby and everyone there in the control room. Everyone here works really, really hard. Yeah. Um, to give you an idea, this has been going on for a while. Uh, every day performing for the last, I would say, 
Well, it's been going for, for a while, but the last uh, four or five months, every day performing doing this show is, for me, has been worse than the day before it. Um, in, in, in my ability, it's almost like, it's like, and again, it's not that I don't, we don't want to do this. It's that we, we know we have to do this. We know how important it is. It's like being able to look at the finish line and your legs don't work and you're not able to get there. And that's how it's been feeling every single day for a while now. But it's, it's kind of like the nickel circling the drain the last few months where it's gotten really, really hard to, to think, to uh, physically recover. Like my body doesn't heal We've at this point. I will have an injury. Like I'm, I've aged like 20 years where I will have a shoulder injury. I remember I was like, I don't even know how I hurt my shoulder. And now it hurts worse than it did two weeks ago. Um, and I'm so grateful, by the way, so grateful, not only the people who make this, this show possible and, and, and give us all the desire to be back and, and, and ready to go, but for a team here who re really for the first time have been encouraging me to, to, to get healthy and to do what I need to do. So during this break, not only are we moving to a, a new space, to give you an idea, and not like last time where we, we primarily moved into more space for storage, but now more space for production, for new yeah. programs. We're dramatically increasing staff. This is all going to be happening before the second week of January. Dramatically increasing staff. Dramatically increasing budget and research capabilities. Owen filled in for me yesterday. Yeah. That wasn't an accident. Many of you enjoyed it. I would like to see what a show with Owen is like when he doesn't have to scramble, when he doesn't have to worry about the YouTube gods, when he has protection under the umbrella of uh, my half Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond, where we're able to actually offer some resources here to, to, to let Owen do what he does. Um, and we might have some announcements regarding Owen coming to Mug Club. Who knows? We're still working it out. You know he'll be here in third chair much more often anyway. But uh, there are a lot of ideas that we've had to want to increase value for people out there because we, we live, we eat, sleep, and breathe Mug Club. We, re we really do. I know it sounds silly. This is, this is a token. It's, it's, I mean, what's wonderful, it's hand etched, it's girthy. But it, it doesn't mean that what it does is it, what it means is what it symbolizes. And it symbolizes the ability for everyone here to make a living. The ability not only for everyone here to make a living, but when people are getting shut down, you're seeing these false copyright violations. And yeah, listen, we work really, really hard, but we have much more peace of mind because we are not beholden to the evil censoring overlords who deny the Armenian genocide or their funding caliphates. We don't have to worry about that because of the people who support this program. Um, and it's because of the people who support this program. It's because of how much you mean to us uh, th that I've got to fix that I, I haven't been able to carry out um, the program to the best of my abilities because of not only the workload, but uh, my diminished capacity. And let me tell you something, it's been extremely humbling to get to the vulnerable side here. It's been extremely humbling to just kind of have to accept I'm only 31, but um, you know, people have talked about, you ever see these people always and you're like, I'm going off the grid, it's like, but you're always off the grid. <laughs> um, I haven't taken an actual a week off in over half a decade. And I know you've seen like, well, you, we've had weeks where we haven't done shows, but you know, when that happens, it's like, no, that's it, because no. We, have to, we have to do a whole studio update. We're, we're painting the whole green screen area. Um, a week, let alone uh, enough time to, to really, I need to travel now and, and, and see some specialists. Um, but I used to be able to do it. I think everyone kind of hits that point where you're like, man, why am I? Why am I so, what is happening? I used to be able to do all of this. I used to be able to go 16 hour days with not so much as a day off. And, and now just every, it, it, it's humbling to kind of just have to accept, okay, these are the things that I can do. This is what uh, I'm not capable of doing at this stage of my life, especially if I want to, uh, you know, get, get healthy. And, and, and like many of you ask, hey, you, have, you having kids? Uh, hopefully, eventually. Um, but what I, I really hope is that not only do you continue to support uh, it's not myself, but everyone who works to make this 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 show uh, happen. And let me kind of leave you with this, if it if it helps. So I want to wish you, by the way, everyone a Merry Christmas, and thanks not only to Malcolm but our wonderful sponsor, Walther. Let me tell you something about Walther, by the way. Um, why does it mean so much to us? We and we'll be we'll have some more sponsors. We've had we've had we've had people line up out the door, particularly around Christmas time, wanting to sponsor the show. But we also know that we're not able to just talk. It would change the show if we tossed in 15 live reads for random sponsors that were rotating. We wouldn't actually be able to shoot commercial series. We want to get back to shooting more creative commercials. We haven't had the ability to do that because we've yeah. been a little bit underwater with some of the migration, you know, trying to, trying to staff, move to a new place, get new technology up and working while doing a daily show. It's just not really been feasible. But um, Walther has allowed us, because they've step up, stepped up and they said, you know what, we want to be in every show. We want studio naming rights. Like I said, there are a ton of great firearms out there. You can like Glock, you can like HK, you can like uh, Sig. Sig. There's, there's, I'm trying to think of who else out there would be, uh, uh, mm. I don't know, I don't know. I can't even think right now. But the, the point is, eh, do you like Mercedes? Do you like BMW? They're good cars, right? I prefer Walther, not, not just because we, we, we were seeking them out for a long time because I liked their firearms, 
but they have the balls to support this show. They have the balls to step up and say, hey, it's a controversial show, while uh, other companies like Smith & Wesson or, or, or Ruger, whoever it is, are incorporating uh, trigger locks because they want to kowtow to the gun lobby. We're not going to do it. We have never done anything where Walther has said, nah, that's too controversial. They go, oh man, we love, we love what you're doing and, and thank you so much for helping to support our company. So not only what you guys do with, with Mug Club, but Walther, listen, if you're going to go and purchase a firearm, we don't really have a big sell. It's just try, try the Walther and see, see what you think. I've never had anyone try. G Google Walther PPQ review. This is a PPQ subcom. Google Walther PPQ. See how many pages it takes you to find anything other than a glowing review about it being the best kept secret. So it really is uh, an incredible feeling to be sponsored by companies and to, it's not that they sponsor the show, it's the faith that they place in the show where we don't, we don't even have to say, these were our numbers this week or this is how many live reads. You, you, when we call Walter, they say, thank you. You, you got it. We're, we're, we're grateful for this partnership and we're so grateful for the partnership with them and we appreciate you guys supporting them. Um, there really have been some great, this year, some unbelievable relationships that have been created. And I want to say one thing too. This is also, uh, I, I, we have such an amazing team here. We're building up this kind of A team behind the scenes where I want to make sure that I'm able to, to, to give them my best. Not only you my best, but the people who put all their blood, sweat, and tears into making this show possible. You wonder why there are no overlays where there are so few sources on shows like The Young Turks or, or most other conservative programs, honestly, but all the leftist programs that I can think of outside of John Oliver, he does provide some sources. Samantha B we won't include because Slate should not be chief amongst them. Um, <laughs> It it's because it takes work. It's a lot more work to actually bring these up so you guys are able to look up the references. It's a, it's a lot, it's a, not to mention doing, doing sketches and photoshops and these people who are unbelievably skilled behind the scenes. It's a lot more work. That's why most people don't do it. So I want to make sure I do right by them. Final thing I want to say is that this, this temporary break, again, we'll be back January 2nd, is not because any of us, to reiterate, not want to go away. It is precisely because all of us, and I, I, can I can certainly speak for most of us, but myself absolutely, are in this for the long haul, and we need to get some ducks in a row to come back, to come back as strongly as we can. And when we do, we're going to be raising an army. And I hope that you're a part of it. Merry Christmas. If we don't see you, follow me on Instagram, uh, Louder with Crowder's Instagram. I haven't been verified yet, and you'll be able to watch maybe some of the recovery that's going on and, and, and uh, if you want to get involved in some of the personal, which I don't know why you do, but apparently that's what kids are doing on the Instagram these days. I love you. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget about Mug Club when you're buying gifts. And uh, oh my God, January is going to be a rough ride for them, not you. If you like this video, subscribe, watch one of these other videos, or hit the notification bell. Well, you should hit that if you subscribe anyways, because subscriptions don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. Now you have to hit notifications so that it shows up in your inbox, so I don't know why you subscribe in the first place, but that's what you have to do. Also, we're not making money off these videos anymore, because YouTube decided why. They, they just said we're not going to, and when we said why, they didn't tell us why exactly. Imagine if you showed up to your job, you did all your work, and then they said, hey, by the way, we're not going to pay you. You said why? They said, piss off!